Hey guys, Rocky here. Uh, here's another uh, episode of Project of the Week, or uh, kind of an in-between episode. Just want to uh, show you the steps I'm doing here to get ready to, to do some bike building, I guess you might say. Uh, went outside and I've got the old uh, Suzuki that was hanging out back there. This guy right here is a 750 GSX Suzuki, about a 1980, I don't know, 81, 84, somewhere around that area, eight, uh, early 80s. Uh, the problem that this bike had was that uh, it was dropped in the alley and the side case was broken. It had a major, major big hole in the side case down here. And uh, I was given the opportunity to fix that hole because I couldn't get a side cover for it. So I did fix it. Uh, it has a slight leak when, when, it, when the engine's hot. It still has a slight leak. I didn't get it 100%. Could probably take it off and fix it again because this bike here the individual who had the bike decided you know the time i spent on it what he called the, the trouble that i had with it which really wasn't trouble i just uh, you know i offered up to try to fix it and took the time to do it just because uh, i wanted to help out but well, anyway he's not interested in the bike he said go ahead and sell it make some money on it if you want and uh i don't think i'm going to make any amount of money on it these things are usually not easy to make money on uh, the little bit of money you'd make is not worthwhile, I don't think. I, I prefer probably just to keep it, use it as a parts bike or something else. You know, like this guy down here, possibly. You know, maybe I could use some parts on, on the bike build here, this guy. I mean, even if I don't use it, uh, parts off it uh, permanently, I can use some stuff off it just to uh, you know, take that motor, put that motor in that one over there, set that in the frame, because that does be, it's going to go with that frame. It's a Harley frame, it's a Harley engine, so it's going to go in there. Uh, some of the things I could do initially is I could prob probably just boil this tank for now, mount it on there, you know, in a, in a makeshift way so that I can use it to supply some fuel to that carburetor. Um, I don't know, there's probably some other stuff I could do too. I mean, I've got a, I've got a Mustang seat here. They call it a Mustang seat that I bought for the old Fat Boy quite a while ago. I purchased for the Fat Boy, had it on it for a bit. Didn't care a whole lot for it on the Fat Boy. It was okay, but put the original saddle seat back onto the fat boy and I kept that Mustang seat and I could, I'm probably going to end up using that Mustang seat on this, this project bike here at some point either that or I'm going to make a seat which maybe is the better idea because it is going to be a, more of a custom bike I kind of have a start I have a start on a seat right here for it it needs to have some some coverage on it so it's a little softer on the tush, but I mean, you know, there's a, the, the initial pan shape, right? And uh, I could attach it on there probably and make something out of it. Maybe make it a springer, kind of a seat with springs in the back. Uh, my idea was initially to use that. That's a little heavy though, it's the only thing. I could use that, put fin thin layer of something like make it a little softer so the edges aren't sharp, not cutting in the leg, maybe narrow it down a little bit. And uh, rig up some kind of uh, shock and springs. I've got two of these, I could probably rig these up. They're off of a, a set of shocks, off a bike, something like that over there. And uh, probably rig something up for springs and shocks for the back of that seat. Have it pivot here so that it does have the option to swing up and down. And uh, if I do that, I'll probably eliminate those shocks the weight that I lose on those shocks would make up for some of the weight that I've got on that seat pan so I mean that's just kind of an offset it's just uh, probably not a bad idea uh, what I'm going to do is where this pivots I'm probably going to weld this just temporary not going to stay just you know for, for a while just to make it a make it a hardtail get it set at the right height weld that and then that'll be a hardtail the only uh, thing we'll have for a uh, suspension will be to seat bumps up and down on these springs and shocks if I can get some dampeners of some sort. I can find some small dampeners. You can buy them like that. Uh, I'll have to look around and see what I can find, what I can make, whatever. Maybe even if I had some kind of a tube in there with some, some fairly stiff uh, rubber or some sort or foam that would just uh, kind of give with it but you know would come back to its uh, original shape it kind of help absorb some of the some of the bounce. Uh, so yeah, there's probably a few parts on that bike I could use. I'm sure that if I put those handlebars on over there that I had, I said they came off of a Suzuki 400, they did. This one, I'll make a nice T-bar of it, but I think it's, it's very similar to these ones. 
got a little more straight out. Those ones were, those ones are a little more curved in. I want something a little bit more straight. These are probably the ones I would go with. So you can see the difference there, right? If that were mounted, it's out a little more, a little more straight than the other ones. Not straight out at 90, or straight, straight out at 180 degrees, but it is straight out a little bit. I'm hooked up on something here. There we go. Uh, so I mean, I could use these hand grips and all of this stuff here. We've got. Uh, you know, all the mechanisms for starting switches, uh, brake caliper or brake uh, reservoir, brake lever. You know, I could actually end up. Uh, if I, I could probably end up using the entire front end off this, or most everything off of this would probably fit on that front end over there. So that I already have on there. I don't want to completely disassemble the front end on this bike because then you know it's it's hard to move around if you it's not a rolling chassis anymore if you take the front end off. So I'd leave that front end on and just kind of rob parts off it. This one here has a split uh, boot on the forks. Uh, this one's split, this one's completely missing. Chances are these forks are probably in better shape, which maybe, you know, maybe that would be enough to tell me right there that I have to switch up the whole front end, which is a possibility. I don't know yet, I'm not sure on that. I'm gonna measure it all up, look it all over, see what's the best way to go. And uh, the problem is, like I said before, we have a metric and we want to, this, this is not a metric, this is your standard uh, imperial whatever size in here. And this is a, this is a metric uh, pipe that's going up through the middle and also metric bearings. Probably would have to have this machined out a little bit. I could probably do that myself, but it would have to be machined out to fit uh, races that would fit with these uh, particular bearings. And that would probably work all right. That just means now we've got smaller diameter tubes for the handlebars and a few things like that. but. I mean, even that could be modified. You know, I mean, I could actually drill these, put these caps together, take this out, and get myself something to hone or drill this hole out a little bigger so that it'll take an inch pipe or something close to an inch. I think the Harley bars are actually about an inch. Uh, like I said, if this pipe here, I'm not sure what that is, but if I, it's probably smaller than an inch. If I use that, I won't be able to put the Harley stuff on it, but this stuff here might, this stuff I have right here might fit on it. I'm not sure, I've got to try to find out, right? Make sure that stuff fits. But here I do have the hand grips and I do have the brake levers, and I have a mirror, a couple of mirrors, and I have all the stuff, you know, the hoses and everything I need to come down to give me a fully fu fully functional front front forks and, and brakes and all that stuff on that front wheel. So uh, it's important to have that. Um, I mean, right now I have that without going up purchasing any other parts, right? It's there. It's it's reusable. It's got the double disc. I could have a Harley that has a double disc on it instead of a single disc. It's got a single disc on this one over here. The same type of rim. That one's gold. This one's this one's not gold, but it is the same type of rim. I don't know if it's the same diameter, it might be a little bigger. I'll have to check the size. If it's a little bigger, then that's maybe what I want to go with. I mean, I want the smaller one. And then, of course, there's a nice one on the back that would match, too. But uh, I'm not sure. See here, now, if I really want to, I could use uh, that wheel and sprocket and chain and uh, get the sprockets to fit the front. Maybe even take the sprocket off that guy up there. And uh, once I've got a transmission, I might be able to find a way to mount all that and use that. That'll cut down on cost a little bit too. So I could strip that bike a lot. There's a lot I could use on that bike, I'm sure. Uh, you know, there's a starter on there. I could rig up a, a, some, some form of a bracket where the uh, starter might, might possibly work. I'm not sure yet. It would depend on the, uh, the secondaries and what the uh, sprockets were like on that. I mean, in terms of where it mounts and hooks on and everything, that's, that's all up to me. I can, I can make a bracket, make whatever I need to put that, that put the starter where it's got to go to do its job. So I could potentially get the starter off of that. That would save me some money. And give me a little more uh, custom fabrication to do, obviously. Uh, we've got those uh, four carburetors there. You know, if I really get crazy, I could fabricate a uh, some form of... Uh, intake manifold that would take two carburetors instead of one you know I could uh, two carburetors instead of one might be might be a little better of course that's a little different style carburetor this is not uh, this is not too variable Ventura where you have a piston that slides up and down these carburetors the piston slides up and down on them based on your, your throttle position and the amount of vacuum going through uh, chambers in there it might be best off to stick to that type of carburetor that's on that engine already but I mean that is another option right terms of the engine I mean there's always the option to move putting that engine in that frame too but I really don't think I want to put that engine in there I think I would want to stick with the Harley I think I want to stick with the shaker 
you know, the noise maker, noise maker, noise shaker, whatever you want to call it, shakes and it makes lots of noise. I'd sooner stick to that, I think. Uh, but I have lots of parts. I don't think anybody's going to want that bike. I don't think anybody's going to try to resurrect that bike. So I might as well take it and uh, use it, whatever I can off it, because I don't have any papers to, to get it registered with. Uh, I'm going to pull this cover off to see if it's got points. I don't know if there's any points in there or not. This might be electronic. It might be using the uh, CDI box or whatever they call it to run. But I'm going to pull this off and have a look. It's got points in there. Maybe I can make myself uh, makeshift points for that engine over there and not have to well, buy a set. Of course, points, points are cheap, but you know, initially, just for the initial fire up, I might be able to fabricate something. So I just want to let you guys know what's going on. This is a... This is what's next right here, coming up before too long. And uh, just walking around here now, I got some company inside. I'm not trying not to spend too much time out here because uh, it's family and I need to spend some time with them, although they're all doing their thing right now, not really including me. So I'll give them a, about an hour or so and then I'll check on them. In the meantime, I'm considering, you know, let's, uh, let's start stripping things down and having a look at what we're gonna use, what we can use, what we wanna use, what we may use. And that's probably about where we're at right now, so. Also looking at uh, putting some runners in here and putting, <clears throat> seeing if I can put those two drawers in. I don't know, sure yet if I'm going to put one here, one here, or just two on one side. I'm trying to try to sort that out. Got shelves down there. They might be too wide for what I want. If they weren't so wide, I probably could have also placed them in there uh, just underneath, maybe one drawer and one shelf. But I think the shelves are a little too wide for that. I'm going to find something that I can use them use them on or somewhere I can use them but in the meantime I guess I'll, uh, I'll let you go there I'm gonna cut it short I'm not gonna make this video too long just wanted to give you an idea what I'm up to where I'm at it's Sunday uh, back to work tomorrow well not back to work tomorrow but I may be busy doing something else tomorrow I won't have time to do this uh, not, not not any work yet no job so just uh, I don't have all day to spend here though the rest of my like most of my day tomorrow is gonna be looking for a job etc etc trying to find something right that's uh, that's a full-time job myself trying to find work so uh, I'm trying to get uh, get a job and get off the unemployment. Uh, as much as I like to take my time and stay on the unemployment and just play around, I wish I could, but that's uh, it's not going to fly. So yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to go. You know, it's it's a Sunday. I'm going to take some time. It's about two two thirty quarter to three in the afternoon. Take some time to uh, do some stuff here and uh, just play around. I haven't had a chance to do any of this yet this weekend. Yesterday I spent most of my day, you know, trying to make sure that uh, I was spending my time with. Uh, family, went out looking at houses and stuff like that. Uh, Greg and Faith are wanting to uh, look at houses now early and pick out what they want and get ready within the next six months to a year. They're purchasing something up in, uh, up in Country Hills, which is a little closer than where they are right now. Right now they're down, down on Center Street, closer to downtown. So they're going to bring themselves a little closer and they want their own home, own house instead of uh, their place is too small. They have a, a condo right now, it's way too small. So we're looking to uh, get a house that's got three-story, get a basement upstairs, bedrooms and stuff, and then the main floor, backyard, garage, and all that stuff. So uh, they're looking at some nice things. Uh, and pick out a few that they like. Now it's a matter of you know, what's the most cost-effective for them, which they can manage without being house poor, I guess. So in the meantime, you know, after spending the time with the family yesterday, uh, not getting a chance to do anything that I wanted to do myself, uh, we actually ended up going out like early in the day, like 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we were on the road doing our, doing our thing with those guys, and then by the time we got back, we had family here. CC was here with the kids and stuff, and everybody was hanging out. With Greg and Faith and the little girl were here too, so we had a, a family kind of a thing, everybody hanging around. Uh, Nina showed up today with her kids, uh, just kind of hanging around while Derek's at work, and uh, you know, I spent a little time in there with them, but I, I know how that goes. They're going to sit in there and watch TV and color and you know, play with the kids and do all kinds of different things, and the kids are kind of Layla's doing one thing, Boyd's doing another, Cody's doing something with Cease or with Nina, they're drawing, they got Spirograph, not Spirograph, they got like, protractors and stuff out there and they're doing their stuff with that, doing uh, circles and designs and things and playing around what they like to do. Nancy's watching TV, so they're all kind of oblivious to me at the moment, so I'm going to take the time to come up here and do my thing and uh, as much as I can until they either come looking for me or I've spent some time out here and I begin to wonder whether or not they're even realizing I'm gone. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, make an appearance again and make sure everything's good, everybody's happy. Don't want to spend all my time out here while they're here. So anyway, that's uh, that's what I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to take a look here and see what uh, what i got to do about handlebars and stuff like that. Check it out. So anyway, until next time, peace out.